I suppose a city that um, promotes innovation, um, so allowing for connectivity, uh, and I, I suppose companies and people to work among themselves and, and, and create this sort of situation where innovation can happen. Um, so like a smart city, like you, you talk about the techie side of things, that's important, but it's allowing people actually be, become smart uh, within the city. So if you don't have the, the pickup of people, or actually they have to take up by people, the city can't be smart in itself. So uh, yeah, something that facilitates um, smartness. So both internally and outside, if that makes sense. So within the city council, for instance, and then outside into the actual greater community. I suppose the impact of smart cities on the average citizen. Um, ways of actually time saving, saving cash, um, greater convenience, and uh, improving behavior uh, for, for people. So like I'm thinking, there's an example uh, that I always think of is our city bike scheme uh, in Dublin where it started about 10 years ago. And through that, so cycling has become really, really popular in Dublin. So it went from, I think back in 2011, about 40,000 cyclists were using their own bikes. And that's gone up to about, last year it went up to about 95,000. But our city bike scheme went from 4,500 in 2010 up to 16,000 in 2017. So their behavior has changed. Uh, it helps with traffic congestion. It improves you know, uh, air quality. So all these things, just by one small innovation with a lot of facilitating aspects, uh, allowed us to actually um, create a, a better, sort of smarter city from that point of view. Oh, so like from a point of view of our biggest success, like we use um, the old model of, of SIBR, I think it's called over here, so SBIR, which is Small Business Innovation Research. So we've been using it since 2016, and uh, going back to the, the example of uh, bikes, we, we've got two really successful uh, outcomes. One is on a connected bike light, which um, it, it, it just improves safety and it gives us lots of information about our city streets, the quality of the streets, and issues that might occur for cyclists. Uh, we've another uh, bell called the Liberty Bell, which uh, uh, allows you to um, carry out uh, qualitative surveys, uh, whether they're positive or negative, and that's actually turned into a wristband now as well. So we supported these small companies, and now they're actually quite successful. Uh, that was 2016, 2017. We've got we had three Sibbers running, um, all about innovation and tech innovation within a city context. So everything from uh, gully monitoring uh, to improve aspects of flooding in, within the city, uh, uh, universal access and wayfinding, uh, to illegal dumping and trying to um, basically uh, capture um, when dumping occurs illegally on the street. Um, so we've recently we've just launched, or we're just about to launch, um, uh, five new Sibbers on hidden voices, um, last mile delivery, smart mobility hubs. Um, it, it, it just keeps on growing and it, it, every time you come up with something it's the solutions that come from the, the ecosystem of companies and people within the, uh, both in the city council but externally all coming together and, and learning from each other and creating solutions. Uh, it's all about creating the solutions uh, and making people's lives better. I suppose technology in itself, it's not about the technology. It's, it's about trying to uh, find a solution through technology. So uh, while the techies, you know, they may want to get this idea across and like this is the best way of doing things, I think the, the mayors should think about, okay, what is the big pertinent question for me? And then put that question out to the techies and then the techies can come back with, with their solution, you know? Uh, so to avoid that, that tech for tech's sake, um, and just this is this is what I want solved. Get me that solution, and I think that that's really key because you know, like I'm I come from a tech background as well, and the amount of times you you, you want to go down that rabbit hole of getting the best solution when really just 
get it done and, and get something that actually works um, and, and solves that solution that, that's been asked of you. I suppose that you're there to promote innovation because technically, like, you know, try not to become an obstacle in, in this process. Try to facilitate um, the creation of, of, of new ideas and new solutions. Um, so just maybe stay enthusiastic. Don't get, <laughs> don't get run down and burnt out by the whole process and possibly the politics around it. And just keep on, keep on trying and, and bringing new innovative solutions in usually brings in new innovative uh, people into an organization and then re-enthuses the people that you're working with. And I think that can be a, a really virtual cycle of, of, um, of, of actually coming up with, with, with the goods in the end. I think people get a bit intimidated by the concept of smart cities. I think, you know, if, if, if you were to step back 100 years and think about electrification of cities, you know, it, it, like that's, to me, a, a frightening concept of, of having power through power lines, you know, everywhere. Like if you were to actually, if we didn't have electricity today, like think of how much of a, a shift that would be. So we're talking about, uh, it's a much more nuanced sort of, uh, development of cities, but it's happening. It's, it's, it's part of the evolution of our cities today that they will use data more, they will use the, uh, the data analysis much more. Uh, we're, we're going to see smart solutions occurring all the time and they'll just keep, they'll just keep multiplying. Uh, so it's happening. It's not something that we should be afraid of or you know, push back on, but we should definitely become involved in and, and do try and take part in, in what's going on and seeing how it can really make uh, your life better. Really get out there and become involved in, 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 in smart solutions. Um, so, as I say, it's, it, it, it's coming, uh, it's, and you can influence how it, how it actually lands on the ground.